What is going on, Rob here, and today we're going to be doing another Dragon Ball Z discussion, and uh, this one is going to be split into two parts. Part one, is, which is what you're watching right now, is going to be a focus on how strong I believe Broly is in a Super Saiyan 4 form, and then a part two discussion video is going to involve me debating and discussing with someone else like my previous videos. So, without further ado, let's just jump into uh, the part one because we got a lot to break down, and I want to kind of like get this information out there so I can get your opinion and feedback on it, so we can consider that for an actual debate in a couple days. So. Uh, why are we talking about Broly in the first place? Well, in case you missed it, Dragon Ball Heroes just revealed Super Saiyan 4 Broly in the game. If you haven't seen the trailer, I will link it in the description below. But in the trailer, what we see is, is everybody's dead. Like, I don't know if they're dead or defeated or what, but they're all on the ground unconscious. And this includes Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks from GT. Everybody was on the ground wrecked. And then they show Super Saiyan 4 Broly the Sinner smiling, and he looked like he was even damaged. So how freaking strong did they make this guy? And, like, that's the first question that pops into everyone's mind. Like, this guy is a freaking monster. And, um... I kind of have a theory of how strong or what his power level is at this point. So let's go ahead and take it to the past for a second and talk about Broly from level one, from day one. Level one. From day one. Day one when Broly was born, his power level was set to 10,000 according to a scouter. Now 10,000 for a baby is freaking massive. I mean, there's adult Saiyans who don't get that strong. So you can already tell that Broly was going to be a threat, which is why his father decided to try to control him so he can have that power for himself. And... That's all we know about him as a baby form. Now, fast forward to the future, when the first movie, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly movie came out, uh, when he was Legendary Super Saiyan, his power level, according to V-Jump from a couple years ago, his official power level was measured at 1.4 billion. Yes, folks, 1.4 billion. That's comical. That's ridiculous. But uh, before we continue, now the question is, 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 what does this mean? What does Legendary Super Saiyan even mean? Uh, and that's what I'm going to break down next. So Legendary Super Saiyan, what is it? Legendary Super Saiyan is basically Super Saiyan 2, and the way I got that from is, remember when Trunks was facing off against Cell, and he went Ultra Super Saiyan? He became big, bulky, muscular, but he sacrificed his speed. This is known, uh, what, Ultra Ascended Super Saiyan, correct? Yeah. So, as an Ultra Ascended Super Saiyan, uh, Trunks had the power to kill Cell. He was essentially Super Saiyan 2, but he did not have the speed. He severely sacrificed speed. And what Legendary Super Saiyan, two, or what Legendary Super Saiyan actually is, is it's the next level of that. If you're an Ultra Super Saiyan that takes it to the next level, you bulk up, you become fast, I mean, you, you bulk up, become very, very strong, but you don't sacrifice speed. Essentially, Legendary Super Saiyan is equivalent to Super Saiyan 2. It just has the big bulky factor to it. So that's the classification of Legendary Super Saiyan. So with that said, we can say that the same level of um, Super Saiyan 2 is equivalent to Legendary Super Saiyan uh, uh, the, uh, transformation, which means uh, Legendary Super Saiyan is a 100x multiplier because Super Saiyan 2 is a 100x multiplier. So if your power level is uh, 1 million and you transform to Super Saiyan 2, your power level becomes 100 million. Is that right? Did I do the math right? I don't know if I did the math right. Just off the top of the head. Uh, essentially, it's 100 times your base level. So Using Goku as an example, when Goku fought against Frieza on Namek, uh, when he transformed into Super Saiyan 1, his uh, multiplier was uh, was 50x. So his 3 million power level against Frieza became 150 million in that fight, and that's why he was able to defeat him, because Frieza's power level was 120 million at that time. So Super Saiyan 1 is 50x, Super Saiyan 2 is 100x, and then Super Saiyan 3 is 400x. And uh, with that, I was actually able to figure out what Broly's base level was, which, again, Goku was 3 million. If you take that... Uh, 1.4 billion and divided by 100, the base level for regular Broly without transformed state is 14 million. Now with that, I'm able to calculate his uh, Super Saiyan level, which is 700 million. So 700 million um, is Super Saiyan 1, 1.4 billion is Super Saiyan 2, and then just in case you want to know the bonus, when he transformed into Super Saiyan 3, which was uh, Raging Blast and Raging Blast 2, Broly's power level was uh, 5.6 billion. Which is pretty freaking massive. 5.6 billion at Super Saiyan 3. But now the question is, is, holy cow, if he's that strong at Super Saiyan 3, how strong is he in Super Saiyan 4? And that's kind of the whole purpose of this video. So what I found out was uh, a Super Saiyan 4 is 10x the power level of a Super Saiyan 1. And now that we know that his power level at Super Saiyan 1 is, 7, uh, is 700 million, at Super Saiyan 4, according to what was said in GT, uh, Broly's power level would be 7 billion. So we have it. 
7 billion is a power level. And I'll throw up all the numbers on the chart again, on the screen again so you can kind of see the comparison. But it looks like Super Saiyan 4 Broly's power level is at least, and I say at least because he might have gotten stronger, is at least 7 billion. Of course, you know, depending on what happened between him coming out as Super Saiyan um, 4 in that series, he might have been defeated or I don't know. He might be stronger. But if we take the Broly from the first movie and make him go Super Saiyan, his power level is at least 7 billion so that's my theory now of course i want you guys to basically respond to this and tell me what you think about the numbers what you think about you know how do you, do you agree do you disagree why do you agree why do you disagree feel free to say anything at all, uh, below and then again in a couple of days like i said i have the real debate this slash discussion uh i won't say what that discussion actually is yet i'm just uh, it might just uh no no I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna say what it is yet just in a couple of days expect a, a, a part two this discussion so if you, have, if you have anything to say before the discussion starts feel free to add that to the comment section below so so yeah now we got that out of the way uh i th i think that's everything i'll make sure i'm gonna basically just just to uh uh recap everything base level broly 14 million legendary or super saiyan broly 700 million legendary super saiyan 1.4 billion if you want super saiyan 2 it would be about 1.4 billion as well so it's the same legendary saiyan legendary super saiyan and super saiyan 2 is essentially the same thing as super saiyan 3 5.6 billion and then a massive super saiyan 4 increase puts him at 7 billion freaky pretty freaking amazing <laughs> so uh yeah that tells us that he was at about at least that strong in that trailer which he was he, which is why he was able to take down all those Z fighters with ease, because like I said in the, in, in the trailer, if you see it again, I will link it in the description below. If you see a trailer, he's just in there smiling and he looks undamaged, and everybody else is just absolutely wrecked. So yeah, all right guys. So feel free to leave any comments or any feedback in the comment section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, feel free to punch that like button. Let's give some likes up for Broly's amazing power level at Super Saiyan 4. And look out for part 2 of this discussion slash debate in a couple of days with the actual topic that we're going to be discussing. Again, the only reason why I do this video is because I don't want to spend that next video just you know talking mostly about what his power level is. We're, ex we're actually going to use uh, what I'm going to actually use, my theory of how strong he is from this video. So... So yeah, just it's both of these videos are gonna be essentially connected in a way. I just don't want to spend you know freaking a thousand minutes talking about how strong he is in that video, which is why I decided to break this up into two parts. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. So anything you guys have to say in regard to what I said in this video theories, feel free to add in the comment section below, and we'll just take it from there. So yeah, all right guys, my name is Rhyme Style. You guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I will see all your awesome Super Saiyans in the next part two discussion debate about Broly versus whatever or whatever we decide to talk about and stuff so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video and I'll see you in the comment section below as well so peace